Hey guys, welcome back to Be The Feed with Danielle and I am getting ready to do another sew-in um, but I won't be installing this myself, at least I don't think so. I asked my sister to do it for me so um, to get things moving along I've already uh, started to braid my hair. I'm not the best braider but I'm going to go ahead and finish braiding up this braid. I wanted to catch some of this on video so because I told you guys it takes me such a long time to braid my hair and um, I am fully natural now as you can see this bush back here um, <clears throat> I've shampooed and conditioned my hair and um, yeah, so I'm going to do a sew-in with an invisible part in the front, center part, center invisible part. That is the reason why you see the two braids down the middle there. And because my hair is short, um... I do, to make my weaves last a little longer, to get a better hold, I use, a, I use um, some braiding hair. So, yeah. So the last sew-in I did, guys, I did not get myself on camera um, braiding my hair. I didn't get myself on camera so I wanted to come on camera this time and get a little bit of footage here so that you guys can see um, me braiding my hair. I'm not going to go all the way down with that. Um, what I'm going to do now is just do another braid like I did on the other side and I'm taking small sections I'm doing the, the braid smaller this time and the reason being is because um, my hair is kind of thin and I'm not going to get all of this on camera Because I know you guys, you know, you don't want to look at me braiding my whole head um, on camera because it can get kind of boring. So let me get this parted right because I'm trying to concentrate and I'm trying to talk to you guys at the same time in the camera. But let me get my hair parted correctly. Okay, and I'll come back when I start this braid. Okay, guys, I'm back and I use maybe about this much hair. Split it in half and do the loop thing like that. Now everybody braids differently so and I just kind of like hold it like this okay. I'm positioning my hands like this with the three sections and I'm going to take this part of my hair and grab it. Um, I am not the best braider but this is the way that I do it and it works for me. Now everybody you know braids differently but uh yeah so this is what I do I don't always get it right the first time but yeah it, it works I'm still learning um, how to braid a little better. I could have got closer to the scalp, but who cares? Nobody's not going to see that. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah. And I'm trying my best to stay in with what I grabbed here.
and then I'm going to grab this one, the part that I had left out, and we're going back and down. And the reason for me doing sew-ins right now, back to back guys, is because my hair is completely natural now. But I think that my, my hair, I'm not going to say I think, I know that my hair has, is not growing in the back because of the, the wig um, material. Like back here, I have, a, you know, breakage. Like all this comes from the wig. So to get my hair to grow back, in that area, I am going to just start doing sew-ins back to back and wear my sew-ins for about four to six weeks at a time, take it out, shampoo and treat and condition my hair and get my hair sewn back in guys. So yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to braid my hair and I will try my best. Well. I'm not going to try my best, but I will come back with the finished result of um, the braid pattern, okay? Because all I'm going to do now is just continue to braid my hair down and go start to go back, okay? And I will show you what that looks like, and I will be back. <clears throat> and the next time you probably will see me is I may get some still pictures of my sister while she's sewing in or whatever, you know, and just come back with the finished results, okay? So I'll see you guys later.